Hi, this is Bala Reva. Welcome to Bala Reva e Path YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about array and for loop. What is array? Array is a collection of variables having the same name and same data type with unique index number. Array index starts from zero and array stores a fixed size sequential collection of element of the same type. All arrays consist of contiguous memory location. The lowest address correspondence to the first element and the highest address to the last element before go with the demonstration. Please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon. Your subscription makes me to create more videos and components. First I am going to create an array variable. You can create an array variable by choosing array of t and here I am going to select string array. Okay, So we have to give a name to the array variable. I am giving arr underscore str value. Okay, And in the default value I am going to initialize the array like this way we can able to initialize the array. After that I am going to assign a value to the array. Okay, We have a three names. So this is the way we can able to assign the value to the array. So how can I retrieve the values from array? So we can use for loop. The main function of the for loop it iterate the collection of item. So here I am going to specify the array is also a collection. Okay, and we have to change the type of argument as string. So I am going to put a right line item. Okay, so I am going to execute the process. So in the output panel, we can able to see the three values. I need to access a specific index. Already I told you array its array index starts from zero. So in this case, if I say the second element that means this one so the index is 1 so if i want to access a specific index value specific element you can able to write like this 1 see it will return only where value that means the second element so but the index is 1 so this is the way we can able to access a specific element. We are going to see for loop. Already I have shown you how to iterate the value from the array. Okay. So normally we use for loop to iterate the values from the collection. But if I want to do a for loop five times I want to do a for loop ten times how we can able to do this one okay I will show you first I am going to change the type of argument as integer int 32 and after that I am going to do a loop five times okay in that case we can able to give like this 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 okay so it will execute five times I will show you the value item dot two string okay so okay in the output panel you can able to see it execute five times here we know variable it's five times Suppose if I want to execute 50 times and 100 times, we cannot be able to specify 100 times in the values property. So we have an another way to assign a, a biggest values. Use enumerable dot range bracket uh, starts it's 1 comma the count is 100. Okay, I'm going to put OK. I'm going to execute the for loop. 
see it executes 100 times so this is the this is one of the way also we can able to execute the for loop we can able to mention the count thank you for watching this video visit balareva.com it has many custom activity packages it's free it helps you to make the easy automation in your epoch see you bye